welcome to Mama Rachel's Southern Cooking. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I call them Congo beans. Uh, a lot of you probably don't know a whole lot about me, but I am a dorm parent and we have a lot of international children. And that's where I come up with this uh, bean recipe at. Uh, they eat, uh, they're from Congo, a lot of them's from Congo, Africa. And they eat a lot of beans and rice. And uh, so one of their uh, women that comes sometimes and cooks, she'll go ahead and just cook them a whole meal from their region. And uh, so she told me some things to do with these beans because I wanted to be able to cook for them. So um, I, we love them. I mean, we just about to have these than just regular old soup beans. They've got a lot of flavor and stuff in them, but I thought everybody else might would enjoy them, so I thought I would put them up. Okay, uh, first off, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to add a little oil in my skillet. I think we'll be fixing a big pot, so I'm just going to do a little. Probably right at about a fourth of a cup of oil. Because that's sort of your base. And I've got some onions here already diced up. It's probably about right at about a half a cup. Okay. Now I'm going to put some green peppers. And I've already got my green peppers diced up. I always do this in the summertime. A few more. I, I put probably right at about a half a foot in. I have to hit these with a knife. If it doesn't matter if they're froze, they'll fall out as you cook them. I'm going to turn my um, heat right on about five or six, right at medium heat. Okay, and I'm going to put in some garlic, and I've got the jar of garlic. It's always a good thing to have on hand. Right at a regular teaspoon of garlic. and then parsley flakes. I'm going to use right at about a teaspoon or so of parsley flakes. And then cilantro. And I'm going to do about the same. Probably a little bit better. Probably about two on cilantro. And then I'm going to add a little bit of, this is called ground coriander. And I'm just going to sprinkle it probably right at about a half of a teaspoon. Now your main thing that you'll be using the most in the spice is paprika. Because these beans turn a red color. Um, so I'm just going to take the lid off. And I'm going to say right at about two to three tablespoons. Now you let these flavors get in here and let that cook until your vegetables and stuff gets pretty much good and tender. And the beans that I'm going to use, now I just, you can use, um, if you've got leftover soup beans, you can use them, but now I'd rather use the red bean. Um, they just, they're just a better taste for these kind of, of a bean. 
So I'm going to use three cans of red beans. And you can find these, especially at Walmart. You, they're so hard to find. But now Walmart does carry them. And I'm going to drain each can. Now, if you've got a big crowd that you're cooking for, you know, just always double up on your ingredients. Guess I should have these already drained. Okay, now in with the beans, I'm going to add five bouillon cubes, chicken bouillon. I'm going to turn my heat down now on these before it's starting to cook because you don't want your spices to burn. They're a little bit dry, so I'm going to add just a tad bit more oil with them. And if you could smell the flavors. I mean, they smell, it just smells awesome when you're fixing these. If you wanted them a little bit spicier, you could always add you a little bit of fresh jalapeno in it or whatever. But but now when I get these chicken bouillon cubes in here, I'm going to put enough water just to cover the top of the beans. And if you've got the bouillon powder, you know, you can always use the bouillon powder too. Just add you probably right at about, um, I'd say right at about a fourth of a cup. Okay, now I'm going to put some water in these just to cover the top. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn them on, on about six. And I'm going to add me a little bit of salt to them. And a little bit of pepper. Okay, now while them is getting ready, as these cooks down some, I'm going to, I've got some tomatoes, and you, you put tomatoes in right at the last. So I'm going to chop these tomatoes up. Get them sharp enough. These little tomatoes is a, you can use a regular tomato. You can, these are just some little tummy toes that I had. And so I'm just going to use what I had left of them. But um, you can also use, if you don't have fresh tomato on hand or 
whatever. You can always use canned diced tomatoes. But it'll probably it'll probably be right at about a fourth of a cup of them. And just dice them up a little. And you put these in right at the last because we're the tomatoes is soft and they don't have to cook near as long. But now, the kids, um, I was saying they love beans and rice. Well, they eat a lot of rice from over there. But um, now we love it with just regular old-fashioned cornbread. Just like you would a soup bean. But there's something that's a little different. and uh, But they have so much flavor to them and they're just so good. They probably have a lot more different spices in theirs than what I have got because over there they, uh, some of the kids told me that they have a whole lot more different variety of spices than we do here. You just gotta really make sure that you don't, you know, get your spices, that your spices don't burn. You just want them to soften up. and cook them flavors in. Wish Jones could smell how it smelled through the phone because it really smells awesome. Just all them spices together, which I love spices. So I, I use a lot of spices in my food, so it brings out the flavor of everything, seems to me like. Cut up now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Huh? They'll cook down and and soften up. We won't put these in till right at the last, till um, they get soft enough. And then we'll put them in our, our beans and then let them cook for just a little while longer. You can even help mash them down a little bit while they're in the pan as they're softening. But it's pretty. I mean, you know, you got a lot of color in it and stuff, and it's just a real pretty little dish too. I like to try uh, different stuff that's new, and especially if it's out of my region, I like to to try a little different things. Sometimes, you know, you get tired of same old thing all the time. And uh, so this sort of gives you something that are a little bit different.
Okay. As you can see, that it's all cooked down pretty good. And I'm going to move my beans over on the front. Turn them up here. Okay. Now the bouillon is starting to melt in the beans. And I'm going to pour this right down in it. In a way, it's a little similar looking to chili, but the flavors is quite a bit different. And no meat. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a little while and let it cook and let all that get in. And then we'll be back in just a little while and we'll get you a bowl out and show you what they look like. Here you go, everybody. Uh, just remember to like, subscribe, and share, and God bless.